Okay, now this is my moving bed, which wasn't moving very well. I had five outlets coming out of the brush chamber, if you remember from a previous video. I've decreased that to two to give me a little bit of current here and a little bit of current there. So really the water is getting blasted towards this edge. And if you remember again from a previous video, our outlet is just under the water here. Well, about six inches under the water. So that is quite restrictive for the flow. So I've installed a Blagden Pond Oxygenator air pump. This is a 3,600 litre per hour model, which is for an extra large pond. Well, I think my pond qualifies there. And I've sat it just over here. And instead of the, the multi outlet, I've actually got it just feeding into an 8mm airline, which is a heavy one used for air compressors. It comes along here, come up to a Y piece, and then I've split it. And I've got a controllable tap on each side. And these drop down under the water to my bottom drain sort of attachment. And then I've got two of those fitted. I'll just put a couple of pictures up now just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If I open up one of these, you should notice something happening. That's one of those air plates working. That's shifting a hell of a lot of water and a hell of a lot of media because this tube's about a meter deep. So that's one air plate. We'll just turn the other one on. Like that. Uh, it's getting there. Blasting its way through about two foot of plumbing filter media there. And now we've got a proper moving bed. That's working really, really well. But that's not the only air pump that I've installed. Oh, I've actually installed another one under there. And again, that one just feeds out to a heavy 8mm airline. Exactly the same pump, that one's a 3600 as well. And that one feeds out into my big pond. Hopefully you can see the disturbance it's making there. That's sitting in approximately seven to eight feet of water. And it's shifting a lot of air, moving a lot of water as well. Hello, duckies. Are you back? I'll just drag the airline out, which is approximately, who I don't know, 10 meters long. And I'll show you the sort of air stone that I'm using on that one, because it is different to those air plates. Now this airline's pretty cheap. I think it's about 12 quid for 10 meters on eBay. And it's heavy, so it sinks. You don't have to weight it down, you know. I'll put the link to it in the video description. And I'll put the link to the air pumps in the video description as well. And I'll also put the link to that fella in the video description. How's that for an air stone? Imagine that in the back of your aquarium. God, I don't think we any water left. It would just blast it all out the back. I'll bring the camera in and I'll show you what this is like in reasonably shallow water, just so you can see how much air this air pump is producing. So there you go, that's shifting a lot of air, it's moving a lot of water as well. It's, it's good, it's very, very good. And the good thing about this thing is, it's nice and heavy, so I can chuck it a long way into the pond. Get out. I'm actually a little bit deeper than I was when I first showed you. That's approximately nine feet deep there. Still shifting a canny bit of air. I might just take it out and move it a little bit further that way into about seven feet, just so it's pumping a bit more. Now you're probably wondering why I've got three full boxes of pumps here. I'll tell you why at the end but I'll just run through a few facts and figures of the three pumps in this range. So the smallest one, 1800. It's recommended to run six air stones. And bear in mind that's in a pond, so that's to a reasonable depth. 
that's not like six air stones in an aquarium which you could get away with a tiny pump for you know uh, normal selling price around about 65 quid and that one is only 16 watts power consumption very good next one 2400 obviously that pumps a bit more it's recommended for up to 10 air stones and that's air stones of about two inch diameter you know the, the ball ones that you hire in on an ordinary three mil airline normal selling price 84.99 only 20 watts power consumption and then the big lad that I'm using on my pond and also in the filter that one is recommended for use up to 20 individual two inch air stones <laughs> normal selling price around about a hundred quid that one is only 32 watts so for all of that air that's going in the pond there plus the air pump that's shifting all of that air in the moving bed and basically making it work properly it's only 64 watts that's pretty good for two very meaty very capable air pumps they've all got a three-year guarantee as well thought I might as well just mention that and they all come with a plastic manifold as well so obviously that one's got like 20 on this is the big pump that one would allow you to run 20 air stones in your pond or power 20 or more aquariums don't think when I had the shop we had one as big as this and it was running about 50 aquariums pretty small aquariums so if you've got a fish house any of these are a good choice obviously it's quite a windy day I've also got the shower filter going there's water flowing through the filter I cannot notice the air pumps on with all that other noise that's going on if everything else is off you do hear a small hum but it's not very loud at all for a pond air pump some of them are pretty loud I had an air compressor which actually broke down um, and that was very very noisy it, it delivered air down to a good pressure to a good depth but god damn it was noisy it was as noisy as three of these fellas running together I'm sure so why have I got an 1800 a 2400 and a 3600 spare well that's because Blagden have sent them to me for nothing to give away to one of you guys in the UK so it's just for the UK unfortunately because these are so damn heavy it would probably cost me about half what this is worth to send it you know to the other end of the earth and the 220 volts as well so UK viewers only please watch out in the next few weeks and I'll be doing a giveaway video on each one of these at some point where I'll just ask you a simple question you just put the the answer to it in the in the uh, comment section and one person will win that that and that so three prizes three winners simple as that what they also gave me is a stainless steel distributor these are pretty expensive if you've got to buy them there you go it's a stainless steel version of the plastic one and if you notice that one has got taps on it's one of those in each one of these boxes so that's a bit of a bonus they did say you just use them if you want to use them but I'd rather give them away to be honest with you so look out for those videos hopefully you've enjoyed this video it's basically just been telling you about the air pump showing you what it can do but if you found it useful give it a thumbs up share it wherever you want check out the other videos and I'll see you next time and look out for those giveaways